Hi, I'm Simon from Cloudflare. If you've decided you need to modernize remote access by replacing your VPN hardware with a cloud-native, zero-trust network access solution, then you're watching the right video. Let's walk through how you can get started with Cloudflare. After the video, if you want to better understand all of the details, check out the description for links to more videos, our reference architectures, and also how to get a Cloudflare expert to run a deep dive workshop for you. So your people need access to the private applications and infrastructure that's running in your on-premises data centers and those you've re-hosted in AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. You also need to monitor and secure access to your SaaS apps. So your infrastructure probably looks something like this today, with those working in the office accessing internal apps, either in the local or a remote data center, or hosted up in the cloud. And all internet and data center traffic is flowing through your on-premises firewalls and other security appliances. Remote users then access internal applications via the VPN and often have their internet access also routed through the same infrastructure. So they're going over the internet into the VPN and they're going through that same infrastructure to access the internet. We're going to reduce your dependency on all these appliances retire your old VPN servers, and simplify your on-premises networking. Cloudflare is going to become the center of your new corporate network. All right, let's tidy a few things up. That's better. First, let's see how we connect apps and infrastructure into our massively scalable now cloud network. Because network and IT architectures can be really diverse, it's important you have a variety of ways to create connectivity between Cloudflare and your different IT environments. The most common approach is to deploy connector software that runs on or near the resources. These create tunnels back to Cloudflare, exposing either the application endpoints that you want to create access to, or you can connect the local subnets. Now, depending on the applications and resources and networks, it might be desirable to connect entire network locations using IPsec or GRE tunnels from existing hardware into Cloudflare. For remote locations, such as a retail store or branch office, you can deploy our zero touch WAN connector appliance into the existing ISP connection to route some or all the traffic from that location also to Cloudflare. If your resources are running in a data center where Cloudflare or one of our partners have servers, you can run a direct connection bypassing the internet entirely straight from your switches to ours. This can also be done for cloud platforms such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. Lastly, SaaS applications. Now, you can't install software on their servers, so instead, we use a combination of first federating their single sign-on to Cloudflare which then in turn proxies to your own identity providers, which I'll talk more about in a minute. You can then configure the SaaS apps to only accept traffic that is sourced from Cloudflare IP ranges, ensuring that the only way to get access to the SaaS applications is to authenticate through your IDP and for that traffic to come from the Cloudflare network. So your IT resources are now all connected, but users don't always come into an office and connect to a network. They were working remotely from home, a coffee shop, or even on a plane. So there's two ways to this. First of all, access to these private web applications can be as simple as creating a public host name that resolves to Cloudflare, and in turn, we proxy that connection down to the relevant application or network, and that doesn't require any software on the end user's device. For non-web resources, or if you don't want to have a public DNS record, we can use our device agent which again creates a tunnel directly from the device into Cloudflare where your new corporate network is. This is supported on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, and iOS and Android, and can be deployed using MDM or self-installed for contractors or people using their own devices. We can even host the browser for you. Our browser isolation service runs a headless browser on our network and renders the website before sending the final results securely down to the user's browser, keeping any potentially malicious web code away from devices. And sometimes access to these resources and their APIs is required for non-user accounts, such as servers and software. So we support using service tokens, mutual TLS certificates, and other approaches. So now that we have resources connected to Cloudflare, 
and we've configured the methods by which people and devices can access these resources, we can fine tune things like configuring split tunneling to ensure that traffic destined for a local network isn't routed through Cloudflare, private network load balancing, private DNS resolution, virtual networks to a help with overlapping local IPs, source IP anchoring, and much, much more that's described in our product and reference architecture documentation. So with connectivity sorted between people and resources, it's time to examine the policies we can build to define access. Policies typically involve three things, identity, device, and traffic context. We first need to know who is requesting access. And so we can integrate with your existing identity providers, such as Okta, Ping, and Microsoft Entra. We also support consumer services, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, and GitHub. In fact, any SAML or OAuth service works. These integrations tell us who the user is, how they authenticated, and what groups they're a member of. And not only can we define this access by the user context, but we can also leverage device information to verify security posture before accessing the resource and company data. So the same software that we have running that connects the user to Cloudflare network, we can also provide context about the device, such as is the firewall running? Is their storage encrypted? Or if a device certificate is present? We also support integrations with endpoint security solutions from CrowdStrike, Sentinel One, or Microsoft. And they provide us with security posture of the device based on their own software. And then finally, we have context about the traffic itself. So where the source uh, request is coming from, what IP address, we can geolocate that IP address. We can also use virtual network tags to know what network you're coming from. So identity, device, and traffic context can all be combined into a policy to control access to self-hosted and your SaaS applications. So for example, you could have a broad policy to allow all employees access to the company wiki, or tight controls allowing only IT admins authenticating with FIDO keys on secure devices access to SSH or RDP servers. Cloudflare has a lot of flexibility to allow you to define a range of access policies you need for your applications and infrastructure. But connecting all these devices and networks doesn't just help replace your aging VPN infrastructure. Now traffic is flowing through Cloudflare, so you can use our secure web gateway to inspect all this traffic that's flowing through our network. You can control access to uh, malicious websites, phishing websites, or use our DLP profiles to detect and block source code or customer data, for example, being pasted into generative AI sites like ChatGPT. We also have an email security solution that can prevent malicious emails from reaching your employee inboxes. And because all this traffic is flowing through Cloudflare, you gain really good insights into the private network traffic. So you can start with broad scope policies for access, and then as you learn, narrow them to least privileged based on those insights. Whether you're a Fortune 500 enterprise or a small business, you can start experimenting on your own by signing up for a free account at cloudflare.com. And when you're ready, reach out for an architecture workshop with our solution engineers to dig deeper into what you've just seen, looking at things like integrating with your existing environment, concurrent interoperability with your VPN solution, supporting contractors, improving network resiliency, data governance, and a lot more. Hi, I'm Simon from Cloudflare. Congrats on finding this video. We also cover a wide variety of topics, including application security, corporate networking, and all the developer content the internet can hold. Follow us online, and thanks for watching.